In this video, we will describe how to Download and install the IRC5 OPC US server Configure which robot controllers the server shall communicate with and give each controller a unique alias name Set up a certificate based trust relationship between the server and an OPC UA client using a freely available OPC UA test client Use the OPC UA test client to browse for I.O. signals, rapid variables, and other information from the configured robot controllers. Using the Windows Explorer, navigate to the folder, locate the setup.exe file and double-click to start installation. Follow the on-screen instructions. After a successful installation, you will find two new shortcuts under ABB in the Windows Start menu, IRC5 OPC UA Server Application Manual and IRC5 OPC UA Server Config Tool. The next step is to use the IRC5 OPC UA Server Config Tool to configure which robot controllers to communicate with. Make sure you have access to one or more robot controllers on the same subnet that the server is connected to. Alternatively, you can use Robot Studio to start one or more virtual controllers. Note that the config tool can modify parameters that affect cybersecurity. To prevent malicious or unintended changes to security settings, administrator rights are required to run the config tool. Start the IRC5 OPC UA Server Config Tool from the Start menu and enter administrator credentials if needed. Each robot the server shall communicate with must be given a unique name, called an alias. This alias can be used by OPC UA clients to identify which robot controller it is communicating with. The alias tab in the configuration tool is used to view existing and add new robot controllers. In the alias tab, Press the button with the robot icon to configure one or more new robot controllers and give the unique alias names. The scan button expands the panel and lists available robot controllers on the network. Select a robot controller from the scan results. In the connection criteria box, check the tick boxes for system ID and system name. Enter your desired alias name for this robot controller in the alias name field and press the create button. Repeat for other robot controller in the scan results that you want to add. Note that the robot controllers you add appears in the list of configured robot controllers in the main window as soon as you press create. There is a few things to be aware of when configuring aliases. A small key icon at the start of each row in the scan results indicates that the required robot wear options are present, and it is possible to communicate with the robot controller. A no entry icon indicates that one or more required robot wear options are missing, and that communication with the selected controller will not work. When you have created aliases for the robot controllers that you want to add, press the close button. You will then return to the main window where you can see the configured robot controllers. The small icon in the beginning of each row indicates if the controller is currently available on the network or not. In order to make the server connect to the newly added robot controllers, we must save the configuration and restart the server. This can be done with the save button. When pressing it, the configuration is saved, and this dialog appears asking if you want to restart the server. Press yes. If you press no you will have to restart the server later in order to make it connect to any new robot controller. You can do this from the server control tab or when you press exit. We have now added some robot controllers to our server configuration, and it is time to connect to the server from an OPC UA client. There are several free OPC UA test clients available. We will use Softing's DataFeed OPC UA client in this getting started guide. To download the DataFeed OPC UA client, search for Softing Op QA demo client on Google or Bing to find this web page. The test client is free of charge but you are required to register in order to download it. Once downloaded, 
follow Softing's instructions to install the application. Once installed, start the Datafeed OPCUA client. In the project pane, double click where it says double click to add session. The only mandatory field here is the endpoint URL, this is the address of the OPCUA server. The easiest way to get the correct endpoint URL is to go to the log tab in the IRC5 OPC UA config tool, find the line containing the server's endpoint URL and right click it to copy it. The server's endpoint URL will not change unless you change the name of the computer the server is running on, or use the IRC5 OPC UA server config tool to change the port number. Paste the copied URL into the endpoint URL field and edit it to take away the log timestamp, choose security mode sign, and press the validate connection button. The first time a connection attempt is made from a new OPC UA client, it will fail. This is for security reasons, OPC UA clients and servers may use certificates to make sure they communicate with an approved server or client and the default security settings for the IRC5 OPC UA server is to require a trusted client certificate. In addition firewall settings may also cause the connection to fail. If the OPC UA client complains about timeout connection errors, and there is nothing in the IRC5 OPC UA server log about failed connection attempts, it is most likely that the firewall settings needs to be changed. How to change the firewall settings depends on the firewall solution. You may need to consult IT support to create a firewall rule that allows incoming connections to the OPC UA server. The port number used by the IRC5 OPC UA server can be seen in the server control tab of the configuration tool. Before making any changes to the firewall, there are two things that you should do. First, check that the IPC OPC UA server is actually running. This is easy to do by opening the Windows Task Manager and select the Services tab. The ABB Robotics IRC5 OPC UA server should have a running status. If it is stopped, you can right-click and select Start to start it again. Second, if you cannot or do not want to modify the firewall settings, you can try to replace the host name part of the endpoint URL with local host. This may get around firewall issues but only works if the server and client runs on the same PC. Once we have got past the firewall, we should not get any connection timeout messages from the client anymore. Pressing validate connection still fails, but now the client gives a bad security check error message. Go to the client certificates tab in the IRC5 OPC UA config tool, and as can be seen here, there is a new certificate in the rejected list. Select this certificate and press the trust button. This moves the certificate to the trusted list. When a client tries to connect for the first time, it will be rejected and its certificate will be placed in the rejected list. This allows the administrator to review clients before allowing them to connect. Press validate connection again. When you get this green check mark, everything should be okay. If you still get an error, check that security mode is set to sign or sign and encrypt and the security policy is set to basic 256 SHA-256. If this does not help, you must check your firewall log and firewall settings and consider adding a rule for allowing incoming connections to the port number specified in the endpoint URL. Once you have a green check mark next to the validate connection button, press OK to get back to the main window. You are now ready to browse the information provided by the OPC UA server, but as a final step, you may want to save the setup so that you do not have to repeat the process the next time. Do this with the file, save command. You may now browse around as you like. The alias name of each configured robot controller can be found under objects slash IRC5. By expanding one of the robot controllers, we can look at its system properties, system states, I.O. signals and rapid data. The information and organization is almost the same as what you see when using the old IRC5 OPC server. The IRC5 OPC UA server also supports OPC 401 OPC UA for robotics part 1. According to this standard, the robot controllers, or motion device systems as they are called in the standard, are located under objects slash device set. Again, 
the alias name for each configured robot is listed, and by expanding one of these nodes we can explore the information model. You are now ready to browse the OPC UA address space explore the features provided by the OPC UA client. I encourage you to try out reading and writing I.O. signals and rapid data, subscribe to changes etc. This concludes this getting started guide. For more details on configuration and operation of the IRC5 OPC UA server, please see the application manual. There is a shortcut to it under ABB in the Windows Start menu. Thank you for taking your time to learn more on IRC5 OPC UA server.